As I've said before on my channel, I'm a huge fan of direct-to-video action movies. I always have been for as long as I can remember, from the early 80s when it was all Van Damme stuff I was into, into kind of Steven Seagal. And then there was a kind of gap where there was no big action star to really take on the mantle. I thought Mark Dacosis was going to do it for a while, but he didn't quite make it. Um, but then this new guy has appeared, Scott Adkins, a guy that I really like in these action movies. He's a big brooding guy who has good athleticism, can handle himself and looks good doing all these fight scenes. He's the star of such movies as Ninja 1 and 2. He did Undisputed 2, 3 and 4. He has done quite a few uh, action movies, most of which I genuinely get some kind of enjoyment out of. The latest one that I saw was Savage Dog and the, basically the main story is about Martin Tillman, an ex British Forces member who is running from his haunted past and is locked up in a jail in Indochina. His captors, the police force there, is, is run by this ex-Nazi who has run away to this non-extradition country. He has with him other kind of ex-people who backed the wrong sort of person to lead them, much as this guy followed Hitler. These other people were just as nefarious in, in their past dealings as well. And the movie kept sort of breaking my assumptions, which I quite like for this movie because you genuinely have a set out story that it's going to follow. So we have Martin and he's in jail at the start being forced to fight and you think this is how it's going to continue. But no, he is given his freedom by this uh, Nazi guy and allowed just to leave. And he goes and gets a job as a bouncer in a bar. And pretty soon the ex-prison people turn up and offer him money to fight in these basically illegal fights, these bloodthirsty fights. And I think that he's going to not say no, be forced into it somehow, but no, he quite readily agrees to do this. And then we have quite a lot of fight scenes of him just kicking ass, punching people, kicking people, kneeing people, elbowing people, pretty much using any body part that he has to smash people's face in. And the story kind of evolves from there. I will tell you one thing though, I thought this was the way the movie was going to go, all these fights right through to the end. And it only has them for a small period of time as the story evolves and goes into something else, which I quite liked as well. And I find that these fights are, yeah, they're a bit unrealistic, the amount of punishment that these guys take, but it's more about the athleticism and the way they handle themselves and the way they look on camera. And it looks cool, it looks vicious, it looks hardcore, and it, it's bloody entertaining. And for a direct-to-video action movie, this was loaded with action set pieces, more than I was expecting. You get a lot of hand-to-hand -hand combat at the start, then there's a midway point in the movie where it kind of changes into something else and it becomes more weapon orientated, but I wasn't seeing that coming. There's lots of gunfights in the second half. There's still more hand-to-hand -hand combat to come as well, but you get a lot of these gunfights and you get Martin running about with a machete, whipping off body parts of people and it is bloody, it is gruesome, it is violent, it is unnecessary but it's a hell of a lot of fun. And I love it for that kind of, just taking on that gore and blood and making it very comic booky, but kind of uh, fun at the same time. Yeah, it is great. The story's secondary in these movies. It's about finding a guy that you can buy into or you want to re rehabilitate himself, watching him kick these people's asses who are just worse people, the, the, the kind of scum of humanity and having somebody to root for for 90 minutes. And it's just fun. And that's what I get out of these kind of movies. It's not going to win any Oscar contenders, it's not going to win any kind of awards whatsoever. It is pure entertainment. If you want action, this is good. If you want story, I've got a feeling you're going to be severely let down. I liked Savage Dogs. I had fun with it, good action. And like I said, Scott Adkins is a terrific action star. And I gave this movie three out of five. Have you seen Savage Dog? Did you like it? Let me know in the comment box below what you thought about it and what you think about direct-to-video action movies in general. And I would also like to know what is your favourite one or one that you've seen recently that sticks to your memory. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.